According to some estimates, the global market of energy storage systems is expected to grow at a 30% rate annually. However, one of the key factors slowing down the growth of the market is related to usage of lithium-ion batteries. Although LIB ASS is considered to be relatively cost-effective, there are certain problems related to durability, maintenance, safety, and non-eco-friendliness. In particular, in the case of an energy storage system for frequency regulation, frequent charging and discharging caused by short cycle frequency fluctuations shortens battery life, increases maintenance costs, and causes battery combustion. Far accidents have been happening in battery energy storage systems all around the world. The most recent cases have been occurring in China, Korea, and the US. In October 2022, the 100 megawatt energy storage plant in China had a fire accident raising concerns about the safety aspects of using LAB. Similar accidents were occurring in the US, including the ESS explosion in Arizona. South Korea has been dealing with over 30 ESS plant fire accidents over the past few years, which raised the government's concerns about the safety of LAB in ESS and the possible measures that could help to improve safety and avoid fire accidents. Thus, any country in the world can experience fire accidents related to the usage of LIB ASS. The maintenance aspect of LIB ASS has also been an issue which is hard not to take into account. Since batteries need to be replaced relatively more often, this creates additional ongoing maintenance costs for operators of energy storage systems. We will consider the frequency regulation energy storage systems in thermal power generation systems. A stable frequency is essential for power management and power quality stabilization for the safe operation of customer appliances. However, the frequency can change depending on the changes in demand and supply. The frequency should be maintained within a certain range for a normal operation. The frequency regulation is implemented by using energy storage systems which maintain the balance between power supply and demand by either providing additional power during peak times or storing the surplus of power when the power supply is in surplus. The best alternative to the traditional LAB ESS energy storage systems which use lithium-ion batteries is a hybrid type of energy storage system which is based on using supercapacitor technology developed by Vinatec and existing batteries. This graph visually illustrates how Vinatec supercapacitors regulate short and instantaneous frequency fluctuations up to 30 seconds, while batteries regulate the long fluctuations longer than 30 seconds. In the case of using hybrid type of energy storage system, which uses Vinatec supercapacitor system, Vinatec supercapacitors are responsible for 60 to 80% of frequency adjustments, while batteries are responsible for the rest. This is why lithium ion batteries experience lower DOD, lower depth of discharge in this kind of system, which extends their lifespan by almost two times. Let us consider the example of a 5 megawatt hybrid energy storage system. In this system, the supercapacitors and batteries are used in the proportion of 1 to 4. We have analyzed the total cost of ownership of a traditional LIB ASS and HESS based on the Vinatec supercapacitor solution technology. All the estimates are presented in the terms of current price levels and may vary depending on different factors. The 20-year cost of operating LAB ASS is much higher than the 20-year cost of ownership of hybrid type of ESS, which uses Vinatex supercapacitor technology. As we can conclude based on the analysis presented, HESS, which uses Vinatec supercapacitor solution, has a higher initial cost than the LAB ESS system. But it can be confirmed that it is about 1.7 times more economical in terms of the 20-year total cost of ownership. And since supercapacitors are considered to be an eco-friendly storage and eco-friendly solution, creating the system which utilizes both supercapacitors and batteries in this case helps to eliminate as much as 20% of batteries in the system. 
This kind of system also helps to increase the lifespan of batteries by redistributing the role of regulation of short cycle high power output fluctuations to supercapacitor system and as a result decrease battery waste and increase eco-friendliness of the whole system. This is why the hybrid type of energy storage system which utilizes Vinatec supercapacitor system can be beneficial both to consumers and also to operators. To summarize, hybrid energy storage system is a strategy that compensates for the disadvantages of LAB and maximizes the advantages by using the most cutting-edge supercapacitor solutions developed by Vinatec and as a result improves the durability, maintenance, safety and eco-friendliness and also ensures efficient power quality stabilization with low maintenance costs of the frequency regulation energy storage systems. But what makes Vinatec supercapacitor solution for energy storage systems for frequency regulation so special? The first one is capacitor management system technology, which is called Master CMS. The second one is firmware, SOC, SOH algorithm technology, operating system, battery charge discharge status, battery life prediction algorithm. The third one is quick development and testing cycles. The fourth one is experience and expertise from collaborating and working together with Korea Electric Power Corporation. If you're interested in increasing durability, decreasing maintenance costs, improving eco-friendliness and safety, contact us by clicking the link below in the description of this video. Our team will help you to develop the best customized solution for your operation.